to resign. Very few details coming from the Vatican. The Vatican spokesman has said that there will be a press conference in the next half an hour, so perhaps we will get some answers. Then this is without historic precedent, at least since the Middle Ages. Um, and it, it throws up many, many questions. Why is he doing this? Um, we know that this is a pope who has been criticized for his handling of the child abuse scandal, that has, scandals that have wrecked, wrecked the, the Catholic Church across the world. We know that um, recently there was a situation where a butler, a former papal butler, was imprisoned. The Pope forgave him just before Christmas, imprisoned for stealing confidential papers. That butler is now out and has been given a, another job uh, within, the, within the Vatican Sea. It's not clear um, why, why the Pope is making this decision now. It also would also raise the questions of his health. Is his health deteriorating, his physical health, his mental health? But this should perhaps become clearer in half an hour when we hear from the Vatican spokesman. We'll have to listen to that very closely. Uh, he, I mean, he's, he's known to be a, theologi a theological conservative, and there have been a number of scandals and things which have rocked the Vatican in the last couple of years. Uh, obviously, it's unclear that this would have anything to do with that. And like you say, completely unprecedented. When we heard about this, we had to sort of delve into the history and see had this ever happened before and it's really quite incredible it is, it is incredible uh, as we know popes normally die in situ then there will be a period where the cardinals come together and the, in conclave they will then elect from amongst them who will become the next pope and this is the what we're being told by the vatican the process that will begin on the 28th of F february when the pope's um, resignation takes effect and he and he steps 